Hello, everybody. Today is a really boring day. So, today we're going to do a grocery haul. Because this morning I went to Publix. And then I went to this like really fancy store that I don't ever shop at, but it's just right next door to Pilates. It's called the Fresh Market. And that's what I did this morning. Went to Pilates and grocery shops. It's a really exciting life. But I honestly love grocery shopping more than any one person should. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I got. So I got a whole bunch of garbanzo beans, which I'm not gonna show you a can of garbanzo beans because I'm pretty sure you all know what that looks like, but I also got tahini. Never tried this brand, it looked fun, it looked interesting. I had to go to three stores to find tahini. Like what? It's kind of like an essential for a plant-based kitchen, at least in my personal opinion. I also am going to make some type of soba noodle dish. These came from the fancy grocery store. Although they weren't expensive. They're only like $2. I was kind of bummed that they're in this plastic wrap. Most of the time I try to find one that comes in a box, but this was all they had. I went to Costco actually last night and picked up a giant pack of these soups. I've never tried either of these, although I've tried Amy's brand soups and other types, and they're pretty delicious. So. Pretty excited to try these because it's been so cold the last few days. And just like on a side note, like a little mini rant, I used to absolutely love going to Costco because obviously they sell things in bulk, so it's much, much cheaper. They always had a really good variety of um, like veggie burgers and occasionally they would get like a guardian chicken tender in, which was very exciting. There's this one pasta sauce we've been getting like for years and all of a sudden they don't have it. They don't have it, they don't have the veggie burgers, they don't have Gardein, they literally don't have frozen broccoli anymore. Which like my mind is just blown. I'm like, what is going on Costco? It's like a personal attack to me. That's how I felt last night. So I picked up a new pasta sauce and <laughs> this is really funny how consumerism works. But obviously when you see a cute package versus a boring package. Although it's like the same exact thing, you always gravitate towards the cuter one. In my case, this was super clean, which is awesome. But the minimalism and the thought that I can reuse this bad boy once it's done, I was just like, all right, sold. Sometimes I also really love to get this vegan mac and cheese. My personal opinion, it is the best mac and cheese out there for vegans. And it is just really, really nice to have in a pinch when you're running low on time. You mix in additional veggies. Sometimes if I have like any type of substitute meat, I'll mix it in. I'm thinking with this, I'm probably gonna use textured vegetable protein because I have it already in the pantry. And just like whenever I come home from work later, or like just don't have time to make a meal. This is um, a lifesaver and also comfort food. Mac and cheese is definitely really, really high up there, my favorites. These are essential smoothie making, um, sorry, juice making ingredients along with the celery and some power green mix in my fridge. So we're definitely gonna be juicing it up this week, trying to get our nutrients, stay in check with our health. Don't wanna get sick right before Christmas, you know? Also picked up a package of tempeh. The first time I tried tempeh, I absolutely despised it. I just sliced it up and I put some seasonings. I put like a little bit of like vegan Worcestershire sauce. I looked at Derek and I was like, I'm never cooking tempeh again. Like this stuff is so weird. It's so gross. But of course I eventually gave it another chance and it actually is really good. It has a ton of protein too, so it's a nice way that you can get in that protein. And it's not anything like meat, but it definitely has a little bit of fat, so you have a nice like crumbly um, texture and a nice like fatty taste, if that even makes sense. But I made mac and cheese recently and I kind of marinated this in like a bacon type of flavor profile and I sprinkled it all on top, I baked it off and it was actually so, so good. 
I highly recommend um, playing around with tempeh if you haven't just look up a recipe or two on Pinterest or YouTube and get an idea of what you can actually do with this um, comment down below if you guys want me to make a video and maybe we can make some tempeh together this is one of my favorite things I frequently buy these probably have them maybe like two times a month but they're the field roast vegan sausages this one's the Italian. Um, they have a really delicious spicy one. They have an apple sage one, which I like, but I like this one better for what I prepare it with. And usually we like to like roast potatoes and slice up sausage and like throw some sauerkraut and a little bit of um, mustard with it. And it's so good. It's nice and it's tangy. It's really, really delicious. So um, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with this yet, but we are for sure going to be doing something fun. Also broccoli, peas, corn. Um, I got frozen broccoli as well. There's this really delicious chickpea brown rice broccoli bake. That is just wonderful and so easy. It just takes a little while to bake off. Okay, so for the finale, the most interesting thing I bought and something I've never tried before. Get ready for this. Marmite. I have no idea what this tastes like. I'm assuming similar to soy sauce because that's what I hear, but it was an ingredient to this Christmas roast. I was thinking to myself, there's probably no way that anyone in the United States sells this, but I've seen a couple different people using it lately and um, it is an essential ingredient for the roast I was telling you about. So we're gonna try some Marmite. All right, so that's pretty much it for this week's grocery haul and we'll let you guys know how everything turns out. And I will see you guys all next time.